So we are back again with player ratings. Yes. Different surroundings. It's only me doing player ratings tonight. Uh, Jez, his battery, finito, por favor. Uh, dusted, done, gone, adios. Uh, Kenny is on his way home uh, from the game and um, would be on the underground. So no signal. So you have got the pleasure of Lee Gunner <laughs> giving player ratings this evening. Uh, this doesn't happen often, by the way. Uh, so make the most of it. I feel like we need to do a cheers, guys, because this is uh, the first time this season that I've done them on my own. Uh, cheers, guys. So watch it. Drink it in. Big up, Tyler. Mm. One of the most straightforward victories you'll ever see, uh, if I'm honest. Uh, the game, um, as a spectacle, was pretty damn poor. The quality on the pitch was pretty damn poor. Uh, the hipster's choice, uh, Gakpo, Cody Gakpo is all I've heard in the build-up to this game from people that have never watched Dutch league football. Yeah, man, mad, amazing, insane, absolutely flabbergasted by the amount of people that claim to watch every player in every league, every age group. They know the kids in Ajax's under 12s. They actually, real talk, some of these people, these top gooners, uh, they actually know um, of players that have not even been born yet. They're still a sperm floating around. They could be the winner. Um, probably the only time um, Top Gooners will ever want them to win because Top Gooners don't like winning. <laughs> they like finishing fourth. Uh, but anyway, uh, do smash the likes up. All jokes aside, uh, we are four points, uh, sorry, four wins out of four, 12 points out of 12. Another clean sheet. It weren't pretty. Um, we had pretty on the pitch. Tea bag. Boom, boom, boom. Shh. What you saying, pretty? He played pretty well. Uh, but anyway, uh, do smash the likes up. Follow my TikTok. Uh, massively important. You follow me on that non-social because I'm sick and tired of seeing people um, send me clips of me on that platform. I decided, you know what? I'm just going to join it myself and upload my own clips to it. It takes five minutes. Uh, a day to upload two or three clips. That's it. So uh, the link is in the description of this video. Make sure you follow me on there. Big up to everybody who has. Uh, make sure you're liking all the content, sharing it around, and uh, follow the Instagram as well. We're nearly on 17K, so follow Instagram. That link's down there as well. Um, but um, we are going to walk our way out of this group. It's been pretty comfortable so far. Like I said, it's not been pretty on the eye. It's been pretty damn crap, if we're being completely honest. But uh, the level of opposition we're up against is not great, uh, which makes it even more baffling as to why we've been playing so many of the first team players for Premier League football in this competition. Uh, when we've seen the likes of Reese Nelson come back to full fitness, Marquinhos has sat on the bench after scoring in this competition. Um, Cedric Suarez, I mean, this was Arteta's man. We signed him when he was injured. <laughs> and now he can't get a game. Uh, Kieran Tini did get a game today. Wasn't great. Uh, but let's start with the goalkeeper. I've written my um, my player ratings down. Um, if you don't like it, uh, cry. Uh, or just leave yours in the comments section. You know how this works now. You've been here coming back every week, whether you like me or not. And uh, if you don't like me and you watch this every week, you do like me. <laughs> You're a fan as well. So big up. Smash the likes, dislike, share it, don't share it. Do what you got to do. Don't cry. Just leave your player ratings in the comments. Um, but Tina Turner uh, had absolutely nada to do, apart from, what, one shot, really? Um, which was straight down his throat. Um, done all right. Calm. Um, kicked the ball out all right. I'll give him a six. Above average. Didn't have anything to do. It wasn't like he was being peppered, uh, pigged. Uh, but there we go. He could have had a cigar on the go, uh, but he didn't. Could have got his deck chair out, but he didn't. Uh, let's go to um, Kieran Tierney. Uh, bang average, uh, by the way. I know he kept a clean sheet or was part of the back line that kept a clean sheet. And I know some of you hipsters in the chat go, oh, well, he kept a clean sheet. That means he played well. No, I love Tierney. You guys that watch me on the regs know that I love Tierney. That is one of my favourite players, if not my favourite player at this football club. He was bang average tonight. Yeah, and bang average based on the fact that I know his level's above what he played tonight. Um, but yeah, I'm giving him a five. Shocking performance, really, from a top, top player. Um, but maybe uh, when you're getting played 
when you put in a good performance, maybe you should carry on the next week. Instead, at this club, if your name's Kieran Tierney, you play great, you get dropped. And then you come back in, you play crap. Now you're not getting back in at the weekend, are you? We'll have Tommy Asu at left back at the weekend. It is what it is. Anyway, let's move to the other side. Tommy Asu had an early night last night because he had a game today and he was allowed a sleepover at the weekend if he won this game. He was allowed a fruit shoot as well. Making friends already, Tommy. Um, but yes, looking good, Tommy. Here's a fruit shoot, Tommy. I'm glad Arsenal have dropped that stupid campaign to make him sound like a four-year-old at preschool. Uh, it's great, isn't it? Uh, I'm going to give him... Um, I'm going to give him a seven. Yeah, and the reason I'm giving him a seven, he set up the goal. Yeah, but I think that's the most I've seen him cross a ball. <laughs> like, normally in Premier League games, he doesn't cross. He's normally inverted and passes it sideways and backwards. Doesn't overlap ever. Uh, today, I actually see him do everything I just said he didn't. Um, maybe the level of opposition gave him a bit more confidence to grow into the game. But one of his crosses resulted in a fantastic finish from Granit Xhaka. I'm going to give him a seven. He also pocketed the top gooners' choice of left wing option, Cody Gakpo. Ever heard of him? Ever watched him play? Maybe you've heard of him because I think every top gooners tweeted about him, um, put compilations out there, skill moves, uh, pace. Goals. Oh, he's got 20 goal contributions this season. Nobody cares, mate. First decent team he comes up against, and it weren't even our full team, folded uh, in the back pocket of Takahiro Tomiyasu. Big up to you, my friend. So, yeah, you can get in the bin, Gakpu, and uh, Tomiyasu, you're getting a seven. All right, let's go to the centre-backs. I'm going to pair them together. I'm going to give them both a six. Didn't have a great deal to do. Uh, Rob Holding. Actually, I'm lying. Rob Holding was a seven. Gabriel, I'm going to give a six. Just so I don't like him, if I'm being completely honest. At least I'm honest with it, innit? Just don't like him. That's dumb shit. Like, pass the ball, pass the goalkeeper. For that alone, you get marked down. So, yeah, Rob Holding, I thought he played pretty well tonight. Um, Gabriel, I thought, played pretty well as well. But because of that stupid bozo genie eyes, oh, let's pass the ball straight past the goalkeeper. If that was in the centre of goal, it goes in the net. <laughs> is what it is. Uh, let's move into midfield. Um, smash the likes up, guys. You can do it, guys. Be the potato, guys. You can do it. Be the hash brown. Be the potato. Be the chip. Be the crisp. Uh, very versatile, guys. Versatility is key. Uh, Samba Lekonga hasn't got any of it. Uh, Bambi Lekonga, some would say. Uh, what does he do? I say this every time he plays these games. What does Bambi Lekonga do, apart from hiding games, pass backwards and get subbed? I'm baffed. I'm baffed. I'm baffed. I'm actually baffled as to what he does. Yeah, and listen, he's still young. He can still learn. He can still develop. We loaned out Saliba for three years, pretty much. Maybe loan this guy out. But we can't. Why can't we, I hear you cry? Because Mohamed El Sideways um, is injured. So if Thomas Party gets... We've got to whisper it quietly because the top gooners are crying. If Thomas Party gets injured again, then this is the only backup we have. But they were right in the transfer window in the summer, a 10 out of 10. It's what it is. Uh, he was the worst player. Well, he wasn't the worst player because we're coming to Eddie in a minute. Uh, he was one of the worst players on the pitch. I'm going to give him a four. Shocking. Not good enough. Didn't take your chance tonight. Get in the bin. Uh, let's go to uh, Teabag. What you saying, pretty? Uh, well, I'm saying you were pretty damn decent tonight. Um, yes, it was sloppy at times, but the game um, was made for him, if that makes sense. Probably doesn't, so I'll explain. I'll elaborate. Um, I thought he actually played pretty well. He wanted to be on the ball. I like players that want the ball. They're yeah, not players like Bambi Lukonga that hide. Oh, no, don't give it to me. I don't want it. No, I like players that actually want the ball, even if they're not doing it. They still want the ball, which is why I liked Aaron Ramsey. I didn't rate Aaron Ramsey that highly. But one thing I'd always praise him for, he never shook. He never fucking hid. And he always wanted the ball, even if he was crap or the team were crap. He wanted the ball. Genduzzi's another one. Wants the ball. Martinelli wants the ball. Saka wants the ball. Jesus wants the ball. This guy wanted the ball all night. I'm shocked he got subbed. This guy's not going to start a Premier League game over Gibraltar guard. Yeah. So why not play him? For 90 minutes. Makes no sense. Anyway, I'm going to give him a seven. I thought he was very good tonight. Uh, let's go to 
Uh, Granite Xhaka, obviously, as you know, he's my favourite player. I've rated him for time. <laughs> Scored the winning goal. Cheers, guys. Who knew that Granite Xhaka was a top attacking midfielder? <laughs> Arteca's tactical genius. Oh, my God. He's getting the best out of Granite Xhaka. Are you falling in love with Granite Xhaka? I hear you cry. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Uh, man of the match performance for me. Stick that on your fucking Twitter accounts, you mugs. Uh, man of the match, eight out of ten. Um, had a couple of little pot shots that scuffed and went wide, hit the wall with a free kick after we'd wasted a minute and a half trying to line the free kick up. Uh, why does it take so long to take a free kick in English football? Like, real talk. It takes over a minute to take a free kick 30 yards out from goal, 25 yards. Why? We don't get that minute back. If you actually count how long the ball is in play, it's embarrassing. I guarantee if you Google it and search Premier League, how long's the ball in play in 90 minutes? It's probably about half. It's mad. It is actually mad, the amount of time wasted. And then right at the end, everyone runs around to try, oh, why didn't you do that at the beginning, you weirdos? Uh, but for me, I thought it was very good again tonight. Captain's performance. Led by example. And uh, he's having a very good season. So big up to him. I don't rate him. Uh, this season doesn't write off the six before it, by the way. But um, fair play to him. And uh, yeah, he's doing all right. Weak foot as well. Who knew he had a weak foot? Anyway, uh, let's move on. Let's go to Bukayo Saka. Um, he needs to polish up his finishing. Real talk. I like this kid. I do like him. People go, oh, you've got an agenda against Saka. No, you fucking drips. Yeah, you can criticize a player that you like and it's not an agenda. There, yeah? you can also have grown up in an era where you've seen some of the greatest footballers in living history and you haven't. And you don't educate yourselves to go and look at them players to see how great they were. So my standards are based on what I've witnessed in my lifetime. The way you lot rep Saka is like he's the second coming of Ronaldinho. <laughs> like, so when he doesn't play to that standard, I'm going to call it out. If you lot didn't push him up to be Ronaldinho, I wouldn't have him in that standard in the first place. He's Bakayo Saka, you weirdos. Bakayo Saka uh, shouldn't have started the game. Real talk. Give this boy a rest. Yeah, bench him. Give him a week off. Stay at home. Play your PlayStation. Play your Xbox. Go out for dinner with your pals. Just chill, bro. This guy's going to play about 80 games this year with the World Cup and that. Mad. Marquinhos. Man was crying his eyes out. Yeah, because he scored a goal. He's been benched ever since. Oh, which reminds me, where's the 15-year-old? I know it's a school night and that, but where's the 15-year-old? We ain't seen him since the PR, uh, a friend of mine at Brentford, which all top gooners started crying about. <laughs> oh, Jason cundy has got an agenda. He's a fraud. No, Jason Cundy was spot on, and you weak bastards can't take it. But Saka tonight, six. Very indecisive. Needs to polish up with certain things in and around the box. When it comes off like it did against Leeds, wow. Yeah, when it don't, he hits the man in the house behind the goal who's eating a kebab in Norway. Tonight, nah, come on, bro. Yeah, your shooting needs working on, real talk. Your final pass needs working on. But he did do some great things in that game. He spun some of their players, lovely. It's just fluid. All in one movement, trapped the ball, bosh, spun, bosh. Uh, but yeah, six for me. Uh, let's move to the other side. Eddie and Ketty Nah. Uh, at half time, Arteta should have instructed Airpod Albert to go to the co op next door and buy this fucker some credit. This guy has scored a grand total of two goals all season. Uh, both of them, by the way, uh, have been in this competition. Um, not great, is he? Not great. Not great, but you lot got gassed. Oh, yes, we've signed Eddie and Ketty Nah. Oh, but he scored against Chelsea and leaned on the fucking corner flag. Raise the standards, people. This is our number 14 on 100 grand a week. Said it before. I'll say it again. I don't blame him. If you offer me 100 grand a week in number 14, sign the ting. I'm signing it real quick. Yeah, before you even say sign the ting, I've signed it. So I don't blame him. He's got work rate oh i know arsenal fans love a bit of work rate don't they <laughs> oh lacazette's got work rate until you don't like him anymore but be respectful be kind be positive 
You can't slate a player. It's disrespectful. You've got an agenda, unless it's Pepe or Doozy or Aubameyang or Laka. Then it's all right. Gotcha. Anyway, this guy is not good enough. And in about 18 months' time, you'll all realize that and uh, come back to where I've been saying since time. Anyway, uh, him, worst player on the pitch tonight, two out of 10. Oh, Lee, you're so harsh. Don't care. Don't cry. Just put your player ratings in the fucking comment section. Uh, Gabriel Jesus. Uh, I'm going to give him a seven. I did toy with a six, but I'm going to give him a seven. The reason I'm going to give him a seven, he missed a lot of chances tonight, uh, which wasn't great. Uh, but he was in the right places. He just didn't have the finishing boots on tonight. He was scuffing chances. He was swiping at chances. Wasn't pretty. Really wasn't pretty. But he was still a shining light in our team. And he was still somebody that drove us forward. And again, another one that always wants the ball. Tries to make things happen. I rate that. I like that. I want to see that. So I'm giving him a seven. Uh, let's go to the substitutes. Uh, Benjamin White. Five. Uh, Thomas Party. Five. Uh, Gibraltar guard. Oh, he got a pre-assist. Okay, well, on the basis that he got a pre-assist, you fucking virgins, we'll give him a five. He was poor. Um, Gabriel Martinelli, six. Drives forward, makes shit happen, has shots, commits defenders. Love him. Signed the ting. Oh, no, he can't. He can't because he wants 200 grand a week. And if he leaves, he's a snake. Okay. Uh, Reese Nelson um, got a whole six minutes at the end of the game. Five. Uh, he should have started the game. But it is what it is. We've won four out of four. We're top of the group. We've qualified. And um, it was kind of... The four games I've watched have been poor. I can't lie. The quality is poor. And we've had a mix and match team. Now imagine we get into the round of 16, which we do if we win the group, straight to the round of 16, yeah, which is the Champions League teams dropping down. Uh, we can get Barcelona. Uh, do you fancy us against Barca? Oh, but they're in poor form. That's why I see somebody on my fan coming. Oh, dear. All the teams that are coming down are shit at the minute. They're all poor. Okay, they're all poor, mate. Yeah, guess what? The knockout stage don't come until February. Well, we might be poor. They might be great. Barcelona have been in a Champions League group with Inter Milan and Bayern Munich. So relax. AC Milan will have Zlatan back. I don't fancy uh, Gabriel's chances up against Latan or Lewandowski, by the way. That could get a bit peak, I can't lie. But anyway, you know how this works. Smash the likes up, subscribe to the channel, share the content, check out the fan cams, me, Kenny, Jez, uh, check all of them out. Uh, three, two, one, and we're going to do the manager rating. Three, two, one, six. Not great. Uh, left some subs stupidly late. Reese should have come on a lot earlier. Saka should have come off soon as he got kicked. Um, down the back of his calf, straight sub him, left him on another 10 minutes. Um, weren't pretty. It weren't pretty at all. And yeah, the quicker this group stage ends, the better, because I am bored of watching this crap. Premier League football is so clear of this. That was like watching international football. It's boring. It's methodical. It's slow. No real quality to it until you get to the knockouts or, or right to the latter stages of the knockout. So is what it is. We've got the job done. Um, four wins out of four. We've only lost one game still this season. Uh, I'm in the mud and uh, I'm looking fresh for being in the mud. I can't lie. Not bad. Uh, leave your mud rating in the comments. Uh, we're out of here. I'll be back again tomorrow with rants and bants on Twitch. Uh, make sure you check that out. Make sure you check out my TikTok. Uh, that'll be in the description along with my Insta. Uh, let's push both of them up real quick. And uh, I'll be doing a video on here tomorrow as well. So I'll be back on here. I'll be with Rance. Happy days. Adios, amigos. Ateta fuera para siempre. Ciao.